Hey Gemini, so let's get started with your weekly read. This is for March 22nd through March 28th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Give me guidance for Gemini. Alright. We have the key of light. I got the key to the city. I'm sorry, y'all. That was, was not what I should have said right there, but that's what popped in my head. Alright. Archangel Michael loves you unconditionally and serves your soul journey. He brings you a spiritual gift now, the key of light. This key allows you to open any door, clear away any obstruction, and free yourself from any prison or enslavement, physical, emotional, or psychological. There is no need for you to feel trapped or locked out of a situation you want to get into. You now hold within your hands a divine key that will assist you in many ways. I ain't gonna sing it no more. I really want to sing it though. All right, so let's see what messages we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for March 22nd through March 28th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for March 22nd, March 23rd, March 24th, March 25th, March 26th. March 27th, March 28th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Got the sacral chakra under here. So this has to do with your confidence. Okay, your confidence. Some of you guys feel like you're moving forward. This also talks about movement. So some of you guys could be moving forward in an accelerated motion here. Sunday, we have Nine of Swords, Suffering and Silence, having some anxieties. Um, so some of you guys having some anxieties around your own foundation or achievements here. Maybe some of you guys feel like you're not achieving something. That's for Monday. Tuesday here, Seven of Swords here. Could be in a, in a very envious type of state. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is about... So some of you guys could be... Now, if this is you... You're lacking in confidence and you could be feeling very envious of someone, of someone's achievements or your lack of achievements or your perception of being in a lack of achievements. I don't feel like anyone lacks in achievements. I feel like people lack in effort. Um, with that being said, you could be having some anxiety. You could be suffering in silence here, feeling as though that you have not created the foundation that you desire. Seven of Swords, there could be some unstable thoughts about that, which could, you know, look like envy um, according to what perspective you're looking at I feel like there's a need to gain control of that gain some authority over that now you could be also in the space of feeling envious and trying to take control of a situation see what what end of the spectrum you're on here Thursday we have the Hierophant card so we have the Emperor the Emperor and the Hierophant here now for some of you guys you could be dealing with someone I feel like you're making some moves you could be confident now you could have some anxiety but you could be dealing with someone that is having some envy of your achievements and the foundation that you have created I feel like you're you have control over your either needed to gain control over your foundation here has to do with um, either a household situation, um, your beliefs, maybe needed to gain some control of your beliefs. Some of you guys could be having unstable thoughts, period, just because of what's going on in the world right now. Friday, we have the patience card here. So I do feel like you need to have patience while things unravel, unfold. Seven of Pentacles. This is, again, about being patient. So I feel like you need to have patience. Have patience. Be patient. All right. That's about all right. Yes. Cha-ching. All right. So let's see here. Nine of Swords here. I feel like you could be in a space of having some anxieties. You're out on the edge here. Ten Pentacles in reverse. So this, ha this may have to do with someone moving away from a relationship. Um, double here. Either you're moving away from a relationship or for some of you guys... You're moving away from something that it could there's an end to yeah. For some of you guys, there's some anxiety about an end to relationship an end to a relationship, whether Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, this could be either someone else that has ended a relationship and could be coming in toward you, or you have ended a relationship and could be going toward something else. But Scorpio energy here, Capricorn energy here, Devil here, Four of Swords here with the Devil. I feel like you're needing to retreat from the anxiety, retreat from the negative and fear-based thoughts. Y'all 
try that try to adjust the lighting a little bit on my thing so with the four of wands here this could have to do with the foundation this could have to do with some achievement surrounding a foundation uh, why is this four of wands here we have the hierophant here which came in reverse so i feel like for some of you guys someone is moving away from a household situation standing up for what they believe is right this is good news this is good news though um five of cups i feel like there is someone has a loss of pleasure so someone is in the space of moving forward and is bringing victory king of cups here um with the six of wands whoever is moving away from this foundation this is bringing victory i don't know if it's I feel like it's bringing victory to you. The underlying energy is the Six of Wands, which is the Lord of Victory. Um, could be dealing with the Taurus here because we have the Hierophant. Um, we also have the Hierophant here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're needing to gain control and trust your own wisdom. I feel like there is some deception somewhere, some envy somewhere. Um, and I feel like it could have to do with foundations. But I feel like the key this week is just to have patience um, while all of this stuff, whatever this is, unravels. So we have the seven of swords here. Could have some unstable thoughts. Someone could be in a space of needing to make some decisions. Why is the seven of swords here? Devil card. So someone could have some negative or fear-based thoughts. Nine of wands here. Someone is finding the strength to overcome some confusion here and put some work into a situation. Someone's finding the strength to invest into a situation. Now, I do feel like for some of you guys, there could be the deception could be just the instability of thought, um, especially if someone was in the past confused around some things. Um, you could be confused and you could feel like there's some deception going on. Um, someone could be envious. You see this person, he's like got a mask on. So someone could be not showing you their true colors around some things. With the emperor here, you may be in a space of gaining control around that. Why is this emperor here? This could be a masculine energy. Could be an Aries. Why is this emperor here? So we have, well... Whew. We got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that is trying to control a situation. So that is the, the deception here. Some of you guys, I feel like someone is confused by some... This could have been from a past family situation. So some of you guys, if you're dealing with someone that's getting out of a situation that is moving um, forward in their life, you may need to have patience because someone that they're dealing with may be deceptive, may be envious. Um, or this could be you. Um, it, I don't know who... I don't know. You see what end of the spectrum you're, you're on here. But with this Queen of Swords here, someone is not thinking clearly. Someone is not reacting clearly. Someone with Queen of Swords and Emperor, someone is in the space of trying to control a situation. Um, this is Gemini. So this could be you, Gemini. With the Page of Swords here, not speaking the truth, being envious, Four of Cups, because someone is unhappy. So if this is not you, this could be a cross watcher that I could be talking to. Someone could be envious of you the person that you're watching or someone that they're dealing with. This has to do with the family situation. Someone has released, someone has found the confidence to release some sort of family situation, gain their confidence, gain their independence from it. Someone is not happy about that. So with the hyphen here, I do feel like this is about trusting your wisdom. This could be about a relationship, could be about a Taurus. Why is this? Okay. So we have the King of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So this is a relationship that could be blossoming here. Someone's moving toward victory here. Someone's taking a leap, leap of faith and moving toward victory. And I feel like for some of you guys, either with this hermit, you could be inside of yourself, um, really needing to find the confidence to move forward if you are not going toward this relationship. If you're, put it like this, because I got two sides here. I got one per one side here, and I don't say one person because it could be a multitude of people. I have one side here where someone is envious, um, being deceptive, trying to control a situation where someone is moving away from a connection, um, moving into a relationship, and then I have someone that is actually going into a relationship, dealing with someone that is envious of the success of a foundation being created. So whichever end of the spectrum you're on here, I do feel like there, either way it go, you need to have patience and find the confidence to really move forward um, in your life, whether you're moving into a relationship or out of one. So we have patience here. Why is this patience here? I do feel like something is blossoming. Seven of Pentacles this is also about patience here. Empress here. So this is about having patience while things come into fruition. I feel like with the Five of Swords here, someone could be feeling defeated here. King of Wands maybe needed to focus on releasing those defeats changing the way that someone's thinking this is someone that needs to be in a space of waiting again for something to come into fruition someone is having um how do you say 
someone is feeling like maybe a situation isn't going to be successful, but in actuality, you just need to have patience. So with the Seven of Pentacles here, um, I do feel like someone is planning, making some plans, um, investing some new seeds. Five of Swords here, King of Swords, Nine of Swords. So I feel like someone is feeling defeated by someone's decision, having some anxiety here. I feel like someone may have had a lot of patience around a situation. This has to do with responsibilities here. Someone is gaining independence from responsibility. Someone is feeling conflicted by that. I feel like you need to gain control of your own thoughts. Understand that things are coming to fruition the way that they need to. All right. There's some changes that are happening. I've definitely just seen the Wheel of Fortune here. Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. So something of the past has changed. All right, so let's see here. What messages do we have moving forward for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Transformation. I told you some things are changing. What messages, what guidance? All right, we got three. So the... So I feel like um, right now you're experiencing enormous change and that change is going to bring great blessings. So do have patience. Please allow your concerns to fade away with things of the past. Um, things are changing in the way that they need to. With easy does it here, it says there's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring within perfect time. And we also got these for the Earth sign reading, I mean for Taurus reading. So check that out. Um, these two cards here, easy does it in bright future. We have, it says stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. So for some of you guys, this has to do with either some money or being supplied with what you need. Understand that you're supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. This is all I have, y'all. Peace.